Hey guys, it's MJ, the Student Tech Tree, and in this video, I want to talk about my FIFA 17 wish list and how I think the game should introduce stochastic statistics. Now, I love this game. I mean, I've been playing FIFA since 98. I mean, that's, that is back in the day. And I mean, my brother and I, we would get the game every year and we love to check out the new features and how they've tweaked the game. And so in this video, I just want to talk about two of my, um, or two items that would be on my wish list for the upcoming game. Okay, the first one is to have the PSL in the career mode. Now, the PSL is the South African Soccer League. Please, FIFA, please include this. I mean, it would be awesome to have a manager mode on them. I mean, currently, FIFA does have Orlando Pirates and Kaiser Chiefs, but as you can see, there are so many more teams. And I really thought this was going to, you know, be introduced in FIFA 2010, you know, when we had the, the World Cup and everything. But alas, that still hasn't happened. But now to move on to the main item of my wish list. And this is something that I think is going to have a big and positive impact on the game. And that is stochastic statistics. Okay, let me, let me just give a little bit of background and explain what I mean by this. Okay, in FIFA, um, you have a bunch of players and they each have their own set of stats. You know, they tell you how well the player can kick, how well he can pass, and so forth like that. Now, these stats are fixed, or to use a more actuarial term, they are deterministic. Okay, and this means that team selection becomes quite a bit boring because you could use, you know, a mathematical process. You simply, you know, optimize your starting lineup by maximizing the stats that match your gameplay style. So, for example, um, I like to go with just the fastest wingers, uh, you know, who know how to cross, throw in a striker who's tall, good at headering, throw in a little bit of midfielders who have a high passing stat, and that's my team. I'm ready to win the league, okay? And currently, I mean, the stats look like this. These are the deterministic stats. Um, and I find them quite boring. You've got player A and you've got player B. Now, let's assume that everything else about these players is exactly the same, except for this one key stat. Now, when it comes to this, it's a very simple choice to just choose player A. Now, what I'm recommending is stochastic stats. And this is what it would look like. So, player A would have, let's say it's his dribbling skill. It's not fixed. It's a stat between 73 and 77. And it only gets determined after the manager has selected his team and started the game. And let's say we've got player B, well, his uh, dribbling stat is also a random number. And now it becomes a little bit of an interesting choice because his has got a larger variance. I mean, who would you choose, player A or player B? You know, we're introducing a little bit of a risk element, you know. Would you, would you take a chance and choose player B, you know, who's probably a young, unknown player? Or would you play it safe and choose player A, who is probably a more mature and experienced player? And then as you play career mode, the, the player can get more experience, and as he gets older, he evolves, and the variance of his statistics decrease, and it becomes more of a certain number to what we have. So... You know, I propose this as an alternative to, you know, just the player stats increasing as they currently have. Okay, so what are some of the advantages of using stochastic statistics? Well, for one, I mean, it would be very easy to code and very easy to implement. Because already, if we look at scout mode in FIFA, they have, they're doing just this. I mean, here we go. Here's the scouting screen. And um, what I like about this is the more time you spend scouting a player, the narrower that limit becomes. And all I'm suggesting is that we move this feature into the core game. You know, it's going to be so easy to, to introduce this. Okay, second advantage is we're going to introduce another talking point. I mean, when people ask who is the best player in the world, you know, who's the best FIFA player in the game, um, you know, you can just look at the stats and you can quickly determine if one player is better than another. But... With the stochastic stats, you know, there's another dimension to consider. You know, who's better, player A or player B? Again, um, another, another advantage is that I feel it would make the game more realistic. You know, we all know that in real life, soccer players are nowhere near as consistent as their virtual counterparts in FIFA. Um, for example, here are just a few players who play like absolute legends some games, 
and then in others they're just drip you know sorry they're just dreadful it's terrible uh, to see them but then the following game, they're back to being brilliant. So there is a lot of inconsistency in real life. Another advantage is that stochastic statistics will make the game more fun. You know, and I mean, FIFA is a game and games are meant to be fun. So adding in this random element will bring about, you know, some more excitement. And we know this because, I mean, casinos are successful because they, you know, revolve around this whole randomness and uncertain results. And we're just bringing in a little bit of a risk factor into the game. And then the final advantage is that it will make the game more educational. You know, already, I mean, I play FIFA and I learned so much about the various European towns. And, you know, you learn a lot of geography. And, if, and games are an incredible education tool. So now imagine if people could start learning the fundamentals of statistics while playing FIFA and getting a sense of randomness and how to calculate that. Now, I mean, we could always amp it up, you know, we could give each player their, their own unique distribution and, you know, with their own unique parameters and, you know, we could set that models uh, each player accurately and how they play under various conditions, providing the most realistic experience ever. But I do feel maybe, maybe, you know, that's, that's something uh, we can introduce later. You know, for now, I'll be much happy, I will, I'll be very happy if we just have a simple uniform distribution for all the players and we just introduce this idea of stochastic uh, statistics. And yeah, we can bring on those extreme unique distributions, uh, maybe for a later stage, like say for, for FIFA 18. But yeah, that is, that's my wish list for, for FIFA 17. Um, let me know what yours are in the comment section below. And yeah, would you like to see this feature in the game? Let me know. And yeah, let me know what your ideas are. Cheers, guys.